Bradley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we should have a fun one on our hands. It's the Bears coming in at 8 and 3, going up against the 49ers who come in at 4 and 7. With that, we send you out to Soldier Field in Chicago. game here early on but how much longer will that hold up as we've got action in the red zone on first and ten from the red zone now they'll look to throw that is caught inside the five and he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown defense already looking at a deficit on the scoreboard but now what can they design here to disrupt this third down play on third and one it's Cutler and Jeffrey's got it and now a fumble the ball's out and the defense not able to get it from a deep already looking at a deficit on the scoreboard but now what can they design here to disrupt this third down play Cutler now to throw on third down it's caught Eddie Royal and he is in touchdown Chicago Eddie Royal will touchdown first half as we get you back out to the action. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, Parker. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. A draw play is called because you think you've either found a gap or you're using the aggressiveness of the defensive line against itself. Not on that play. Totally controlled the middle of the field. Offense had nowhere to go with the ball. Now Hoyer. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. And that penalty will wipe out a big gain by the offense. Sean Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control, 
And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. And Barth puts it through. And the lead will grow. It's now. So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter. And this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. Green, 39. Here's Hoyer. And quick throw here. That's complete. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. Now it's Cutler. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down fourth quarter and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side they need to get the ball back to their offense they have a chance to do that on third down the lone set back is Langford and he'll get it up the middle and he is going to look now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively it's just their first they've got two more in this situation down a couple scores late in the game this offense is staying out there on fourth now Kaepernick gotta have this one and this is incomplete they had to go for it with such little time remaining And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve.